Riyadh season returns to London. How about this? At the magnificent Guildhall, nestled in the heart of the capital for the official launch press conference for Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury 2, reignited. Last year, when this fight was first scheduled, it all seemed pretty friendly, pretty amicable. Uh, and then I checked Twitter, and more recently, there's things about Isaac Lowe saying he's going to put you to sleep and retire you. What's happened? What's gone wrong, Lee? I don't know. Honestly, this is what I mean. You don't know what you're getting with Isaac. So um, we'll see. December the 21st, um, the talking stops. We we get. It's just me and him in the ring. There's no. There's no entourage, there's no Tyson, there's no nobody. It's just me and Isaac, and the best man will win, and I firmly believe that will be me. And we picked down, we wanted Lee. We wanted Lee from, obviously, from last year with him pulling out. Obviously, he had an injury problem, but it's been 12 months in the making now, and I think I need to make a, a big statement in this fight, and I think Lee's the right payment, uh, person to do it again. So, yeah, just make sure you don't have no more injuries and just turn up on uh, December the 21st. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Don't worry, son. You should get down on your knees and suck my b so I'll just give you the biggest chance in boxing. I do feel like I'm going to go in here and, and make a statement and win this, and win this well and convincingly, however it may be. However it may be. Um, just don't I, take a backward step now when it comes to it. Don't it, back off. Stand down, fight. Well, the, the, this, this is the thing, Dave. I can win this fight any way I want. You know, people well, forget my amateur, plan. my amateur background. I've fought for GB. I've travelled the world. People in boxing know how good I really am. This is, this is a fight that you've wanted for some time, right? Yeah, it is. Obviously, he's, he's got the belts on, he, on the domestic scene, and, you know, he's a big name. He's Queensbury's little golden boy, and, you know, that finishes on December the 21st. Well, let, let's bring in uh, Queensbury's little golden boy, as, as you put there, Peter. Uh, Dennis, this is, a, this is a, a great fight. Fantastic against a British opponent who, uh, who's very, very confident that he's going to do a number on you on December 21st. What are you, what are you thinking? 100%. Listen, the action speaks louder than words. We see what happened to me before. He got sleeped by Gerald Quinn, who, who in my eyes is a journeyman, really, to be honest with you. Lad, he's Let me finish. He's I'm, I'm talking. One second. He's better than your best friend. Who's, who's a journeyman, to be honest with you? 17 and he's all, fought, He's fought absolutely no one. Lad, your best friend. He's an amateur. An amateur. Uh, he was, you got okay, beat off Baluta and got gifted a draw. Amateur this. Amateur you got that, gifted a draw off Baluta. This is, this is professional boxing. This is professional boxing. 17 boxing. and all, he was, lad. Shush, I'm talking. Yeah, All the ussy, 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 us. And we get the smack straight in, straight in that chin. Oh, well, will she? He'll, 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 know, he'll know then. This is professional boxing. Yeah. You can't be ussy, ussy, and run around like a, like a chicken around and the you ring. You can talk as much as you want, yeah. You're still going to get a beat down on December the 21st. Yeah, well, listen, you should thank me you're even here, to be honest with you, because God knows how you even got here. Uh, to be honest, I can't even God take knows you you you've, beaten, you've beaten absolutely no one. You stepped Don't up once. Don't buy me granddad for Krimbo. Oh, you've stepped up once. You got Idiot. sleeped. And you're going to get sleeped again December 21st, and I'm going to knock you straight out. Right, John, will she, lad? It's a fight I wouldn't have taken if I didn't think I could win. Um, it depends how good Johnny Fisher is. You know, like, being completely honest, if he is really, really, really good, I'm probably in trouble. But if he's not, I'm, I'm just the guy to beat him. So um, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, may the best man win. I don't know if I'm really, 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 really good, but I'm all right, and I can punch, and I train hard, and I'm fit, and I'm strong. And I've got to be all them things to beat Dave Allen. I know what it's like sparring with Dave Allen. We sparred five years ago when I was 19, 20 years old. And he gave me a bit of a pasting, if I'm being honest. But I knew that day when I walked out of that gym, I've got the minerals of what it takes to be a heavyweight boxer. And I've learned a lot in that time with Mark Tibbs, Jimmy Tibbs, Sonny Cannon in the gym. And now it's about showing and expressing them skills. And if I'm not on it, and if I don't show what I'm about, Dave Allen's the sort of bloke who can get into the fight he can wing him in, he's clever, he's cute, and I've got to be 100% on it. The pressure's on me in this fight, I know that. Give him his flowers where they're due, so, but I think it's probably too soon for him. I'm feeling confident coming in, too big, too strong, uh, too much experience, and um, yeah, it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good fight regardless, you know. He, like I said, he's a, he's a crafty southpaw, and um, I think it's going to be a great fight. I just wanted to say them, so you're meant to feel like that. You are meant to feel like that. Listen, I don't want to fight you if you think that you're going to get in and you're going to lose. I want you to have that attitude of, I'm going to go in course, and I'm going to win. Of course, mate, of course. I'm not here like uh, majority of the other opponents just happy to come in, collect a paycheck, you know. I'm uh, coming in with a full camp under my belt, good condition, uh, training specifically for you as well. Good, good. And that's, and that's only going to bring the best out of us and we can obviously display that for the fans. 
Listen, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to share the it on. We are so excited for this, as should everyone else be. Some brilliant fights on this undercard, Barry. Um, is there any fight you're looking forward to the most? Anyone you could pick out for me? Yeah, Dennis McGann versus Peter McGrail is, is, I think, is an absolutely brilliant fight. Two really, really good kids. It's a step up for Peter McGrail, but as an amateur, he was one of Britain's very best. Tell us what is going on in the mind of the Gypsy King. It's actually been about four and a half years was the Wilder 2 fight last time I was um, the underdog in these fights. Um, what's going through my mind? I'm just looking forward to a fantastic fight, you know. Last time in May, it was a fantastic fight. Alexander won the fight fair and square. Um, just looking to put on a great fight again, you know. It was uh, very close last time. He got it by a point. Um, a little bit more focus, a little bit more um, lack of complacency and I should do the, do the job, what I need to do. You know, it's um, nothing drastic has to change, a bit more of the same, uh, a little bit more focused, like I say, and I will uh, be victorious. What is my, uh, what me motivation? I don't have motivation. Only my uh, regime, only my concentration. This is my motivation. The Tyson Fury side of the table, Eddie. Um, you were there. What is going on in this building? Is this Eddie Earn on my table? You must have a chair for me being on your side, I tell you. Um, thanks to Frank and Spencer for inviting me out. I do feel like a bit of a competition winner. Sorry, sorry, Alexander. I mean, look, you know, whoever wins, whoever wins, I'll be nice and fair and honest as always. Don't wins worry. First, I'll be on their side <laughs> after, you know. Um, just on behalf of. Uh, his Excellency in Riyadh season. I mean, I think um, they mentioned Alex Krasuk. The amazing thing is seeing this fight not once, but twice in seven months. God's timing is not late. He's not imperfect. It's perfection. So that was meant to be. And we're going to find out what's going to be meant to be in December the 21st. I believe it will be my time this time. And I believe that all things that happen, negative or positive, are lessons. We must learn from the things that we go through in our lives. And we can only do the best we can do as human beings and as boxers and as fathers and as husbands and everything else. We can only do the best we can do as men. And that what we know how to do best is going there and not out of each other in a fight and to put on a show for the paying customer. What's in the briefcase, Alexander? It's just character. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Who's thinking about it? You can decide. Yes. To confirm this is a photograph of the first fight, Alexander Usyk is asking Tyson Fury to sign it. I look like Shrek. <laughs> the picture of me taking a big left hand to the jaw. Me is <laughs> it's a nice one. Um, Alexander, if you'd like to show the, uh, show the picture, oh. please. You will find it tomorrow on eBay. <laughs> There you go, signed and sealed from Alexander Usyk. Probably not on my uh, press conference list today. That's Michael yeah, Buffer talking, so we're about, about to get a face-off here as we count down about 10 weeks away, December 21st, Fury Usyk part two. Both men saying that this one will not go the 12 rounds unlike their first one.